People often ask me if we carry bamboo flooring. My answer is always the same. Sorry, we do not. We make everything we sell right here in Ontario. May I ask what it is that you like about bamboo? Like clockwork, they respond, because it's green. Today, I'm going to walk you through the three main manufacturing steps of both bamboo and Canadian-made hardwood flooring, just so you can decide for yourself which is the greenest option. The first step in the process is the harvesting of the raw materials, and this, in essence, is where bamboo earns its reputation as the green alternative to solid wood. Bamboo can grow up to two feet in a single day. Compare this to hardwood trees, which take between 40 and 60 years to fully mature. In this case, bamboo does seem to be the greenest option, but is it? Although it takes hardwood trees far longer to mature, the growth in our forests is far greater than the removals. The trees that are sprouting today will not be needed for over 100 years. Contrary to popular belief, hardwood forests in North America are harvested very sustainably. The clear cutting you see on the news is done in softwood forests like pine and spruce. In hardwood forests, the mature trees are marked with spray paint by either the logger themselves or someone from the Ministry of Natural Resources, and these are the only trees to be cut down. This practice provides light for the smaller trees so they can one day reach their maturity. One of our lumber suppliers owns over 15,000 acres and has been harvesting the same land since 1857. To me, that is a great example of sustainability. The second step is the actual manufacturing process. Bamboo must be cut into lengths, ripped into thin strips, laminated together with formaldehyde-based glue, milled into tongue and groove, and then finished. All of this is done with no regulations on the plant, glue, finish, or waste. Not to mention, 80% of the electricity for these plants is generated from coal. This process is pretty complex when compared with the manufacturing process of hardwood flooring. The logs are sawn into lumber, the lumber is milled into flooring, and then a zero VOC finish is applied. Hardwood flooring takes less water and energy to produce than any other flooring option. The only byproduct is sawdust, which can be used as bedding for horses or made into wood pellets. Finally, the last step, and the one that has the most impact on the environment, shipping. The environmental impact of shipping Canadian-made hardwood flooring in North America is very minimal, but the impact of bamboo is huge. Bamboo is shipped across the ocean in gigantic container ships. These ships use a regular grade diesel when near ports or other regulated waters, but when they are in international waters, they burn a far lower grade of diesel that is cheaper and causes far more pollution. According to the UK newspaper, The Guardian, and other sources, 15 of the world's largest container ships pollute more than all of the automobiles in the world. To put this in a more local perspective, one container ship coming from Shanghai to Montreal will pollute more than all the registered automobiles in Canada driving 70,000 kilometers. I hope I've opened your eyes to the benefits of buying locally made hardwood flooring versus the perceived environmentally friendly option, bamboo.